Hello, everybody. Welcome to Little John's Yarns. If this is your very first time here, I'm Alicia. What we like to do here is sip wine and talk about all things crochet. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. And I just have to say this first. If you are watching this on a replay, I know you're not live, guys. And you're wondering, where are the patterns? And I'm talking too much. All the patterns that are in this video are going to be down in the description box below. These patterns are absolutely free. And all these roundups that I do, don't worry, these patterns are free. So guys, where are you from? What time is it? What's the weather like? I noticed, because I can look in behind my analytics, my uh, most of my uh, audience was always from the United States. But within the past... Uh, three weeks to a month. My new audience is from India and South Africa. And I believe, oh, uh, Australia, I believe. So if you're from any of those places, welcome here for the very first time. Thank you for joining me. So whew, that was a mouthful. As I say, we are drinking wine here. So we're going to be looking at 10 amazing crochet bags. All of these are free. Oh, so let's see what's going on in chat. Sometimes I get all sporadic and all over the place when I first get online. Let's see. We have Shanita Brown. She says, hello, everyone. Joining from Wichita, uh, Wichita Kansas. Here we go. We Who else do we have here? Uh, we have, so here we go. Victoria, welcome back. She's one of my faves. And of course, Life and Stitches. She is one of my uh, channel members. Anybody, if you would like to be a channel member, there's always a join button down below. Channel members get all type of cool new additional stuff that I do. I actually did a cool yarn giveaway for my yarnivores. I gave away uh, two skeins of this Felician yarn. I don't have hair, but a skein is 30 bucks for one of these. So I gave away two and I only have five people in my yarn of group. So the chances of winning was one in five. And I just gave away my prize then. So if you guys are interested in that, it is down below. Let's see who else is here. Let's see. Jamaica. Welcome. Hey, Dwayne, how you doing? And one of my faves, Unapologetically Mocha. How are you? Let's see what else is coming in here. And we have Carmel Cutie Pie 82 checking in from Atlanta. <gasps> PJ, I missed your face. Hello, oh, miss you. I miss you too. All right, guys. So we're going to hop right into this pattern roundup. These are going to be like some of the top uh, crochet bag patterns. This roundup was put together by my dear friend, Angela Adder. Her website is Nine Inspire, and she helps put together on these all these blog posts. And you'll also notice her on this uh, roundup today. So before we get into the patterns, I'd like to ask you a question first. And before you comment in the comment section, I would like you to put question marks in front of your answer so I know to bring it to the front once we get to it. Okay. So the question is, who is your favorite crochet youtuber don't say me not me who is else online right now is one of your favorite crochet youtubers remember before we uh you type it in there make sure you put question marks in front of it so i can bring it to the front so we can talk about it so now let's hop into the very first pattern let me share my screen this is called the data de la clutch crochet bag I always find myself reaching for a clutch when I'm going out with the girls or going on a date. I don't want to be weighed down by a big, huge purse, but I still need somewhere to hold my phone and keys. This adorable bag pattern includes tons of fun details, like an inner pocket that you can make without sewing a thing. The designer of this pattern is KMT Creations. Remember, all these patterns are going to be down in the description box below. Let's look at this one a little bit closer. That is super cute. I want to see it up close. Does she have any more pictures? You know, I always love the go as you go. Crochet and take pictures as you go. Okay, this bag isn't difficult at all. That is cute. Where's the finish, finish, finish? Ooh, gorgeous. All right, so the next pattern that we are going to look at, this is called the... The Rosette Crochet Crossbody, uh, Rosetti Crochet Crossbody Bag. Tape yarn is wide and flat. It also, it's also soft and sturdy. 
That's what makes this polyester viscose yarn an excellent choice for crocheting a bag. If you want to crochet a bag pattern, this is the one you're going to want to make. I also love the stitch definition that you can get with this tape yarn. It makes even basic crochet stitches stand out, like the ones used for this bag. The designer of this is Tender Warm Creations. Actually, they had an awesome slash sale, so I don't even have to show you any more pictures of that. Okay. So, the question that I asked, who is your favorite crochet YouTuber? Before you comment that, make sure you put question marks in front so I know to bring it up to the top. My favorite crochet YouTuber. Uh, actually, the first one I actually fell in love with, I think it was Bag of Day, because she's been doing this crochet thing on YouTube forever. But one of the coolest crochet YouTubers, I love Hook by Robin. Wait, wait, yeah, Robin Hook by, my tongue's all twisted right now. Yeah, Hook by Robin. She does the most, her personality is amazing. Her work is absolutely gorgeous, but there's coolness behind the crochet. I think that makes her even better. Uh, who's another one of my favorite crochet YouTubers? Oh, Jada and Stitches. Hands down, one of my favorites. I love her bubbly character. Some people don't like her, but I just love her just personality. She's full of sparkles. So let me hop into the comments and see what everybody else says. Give me a second to scroll up. There's a lot of people that commented. Here we go. Oh yeah, and TL Yarncraft. Can't forget her. I love TL Yarncraft. Let's see. She's like one of the most hardworking crocheters I know. Uh, Jerry, hi there. My name is Jerry. I really enjoy all your hard work and what you do. Thank you so much. Let's see. Bag a day, Regina. Ba uh, Crystal, bag a day. Karen M. I wonder if that's my friend Karen V. Miguel. I don't know. She's one of my favorite YouTubers also. PJ says bag a day, bag a day, man. Toro, I do not know. Pink Sheep Design. When I don't know names, I usually know patterns. You know how you can always know exactly who makes a pattern, but the name doesn't stick? I'm actually like that with people. Of course, Tony T.O. Yarncraft. She just came out with a brand new course. I think it's about crocheting. So if you guys see that, make sure you check her out. Everything she does is professional. She's on point. She's amazing. Wanda says, uh, Tony. Oh, uh, one of my fave Lifes and Stitches, Granny D and Reggie at J-Hook. Oh, definitely both of them. And especially my girl, Reggie. She has her own Yarniversity on her YouTube channel. She goes over so many interesting topics. One of the last topics, I believe this was a couple months ago, I wanted to do a video on it also. It was crochet on TV or media or in movies. It was so interesting. But she has so many topics that she goes over. Man, everybody loves Crystal. I want somebody, give me somebody I don't know. I do know uh, Creative Grandma, like her too. <laughs> Unapologetic Mocha said, better chance of picking my favorite kid. Oh, Crochet Chick. B thinks, I don't know that. I don't know them. I'm going to have to Google them. Bobby Wilson, 123, do know their patterns, is the first person I watch for tutorials. But, ooh, B thinks TX. I don't know who they are. I'm going to have to check them out. I never have my pen ready for this. Let me scroll down to who else. Bag a day, bag a day, bag a day, and create a grandma. Okay, so we went over a lot. We're going to hop right back into this pattern roundup. And if you're coming here and you're wondering where are their amazing patterns, we're about to get into it right now. But if you want to see the patterns, at this very moment, just go down in the description box below. You'll go directly to a website where you're linked to all of these free patterns. And I forgot to mention, if you would like to uh, help support my channel, I think it's on this side, you can always help support through Super Chat. To do that, if you notice in the chat box, you'll notice a little dollar sign. When you click that, you're able to donate and support other influ um, crochet YouTubers like myself online so we can continue to do things like this. All right. Oh, and when you do donate, these, wait, where's the bubble machine? The bubble machine will go off. The lights will go off. And you'll get to spin the Wheel of Patterns. I forgot to tell you about the Wheel of Patterns, which is, whoop, 
look so doll right here and you have a chance to win some of the patterns from my etsy shop so just to let you know i'm giving those to show my appreciation the next question that i want to ask you what is on your crochet bucket list right now what is something that you always wish that you wanted to crochet and you just haven't before you type it in the comments i want you to put little question marks before so i know that you're answering it so i can bring it to the front after we go over these next two patterns oh i feel like i'm talking so much let me take a drink oh when you donate i cheer cheer we cheers together all right i'm ready We did this one and our next pattern. Ooh, this is pretty. This is called the Wild Rose Crochet Backpack. Let me make sure that I share screen. I did. A quick and cute sense style crochet bag pattern is just a thing for all your summer adventures. I can totally picture myself taking this backpack along for a hike, a day at the beach, or even a music festival. My favorite part is the beautiful granny square focal point. And of course, the colorful tassel. The designer of this is all about, I didn't put up the right pattern, bananas. I'm sorry. <laughs> the designer of this pattern that I was talking about is uh, all about Amy. I'm so sorry. I had the wrong picture up. Let's see if she has some more. I feel like I didn't spend enough time on her. And I have so many patterns of her on my uh, live streams because she has so many amazing designs. That is gorgeous. Okay, so and the next pattern we are going to look at. This is called the Urban Nomad Boho Bag. Can I get this down? I feel like you can't see the detail that well. There we go. Let me read the description. Here's another fabulous crochet bag pattern that places a granny square at the center of the tension. It's actually made with two granny squares plus one more granny square worked as two separate halves. Trust me, it's genius. I love the diagonal lines in this design and the fun chevron shape of the fringe. You'll also learn how, a, how to put on a lining for this bag. So, and also don't forget the fringe. The designer of this is Make and Do Crew. Sorry if I'm reading through this so fast, or if I jumble my words, this is actually the first time I'm reading through the blog post itself. So, I mean, out loud, I don't practice before. <laughs> So remember, if you'd like any of these patterns, all of them are down in the description box below. So the question that I asked you, what is on your crochet bucket list? What has always been on my crochet bucket list is a crochet dress or, and not or, a crochet dress and a king size, uh, com not comforter, but a king size afghan. I despised afghans since I was a child. My grandma used to love crocheting afghans. It felt like she would buy some yarn and I would blink and she would have a full blanket made for the couch or made for the bed. When Whenever I start a blanket, it's like 80 years later and it's this big. But I can make 500 small projects in one day, which is probably equivalent to a king size uh, Afghan, I just, I just can't. But I would love to, I would love to have like, that would be like a family heirloom that you can pass on to somebody, but I just can't do it. It just, hey, uh, but I will, it's on my bucket list. So for you, what is on your crochet bucket list? Let me scroll up and see what people are saying. I'm trying to go up to the top so I don't miss anybody. Here we go. Do, 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 do. There we go. First one. Cheryl said she would want to make a sweater. Sweaters that used to be on my bucket list like years ago because I was afraid of the shaping of making a sweater. I'm not one of those fabulous crochet designers like uh, Gregory Stitch or something like that. I'm not into shaping all of, it's a lot for me. So, but the sweaters where I can just crochet two squares together and rectangles to put on the arm, those are my type of sweaters. I actually have some pattern designs like that. 
Diddy, the designer, says she would make a dress. Me and you are on the same level. That's what I would love to make one day. Toro a star. She says she would make some shorts. Uh, Crafty Chats Cafe. Disney thing, Amagurumi, they look hard. You guys know I, uh, ooh, I have love for all the, I'm calling you artists, Amagurumi artists, because you're sculpting with the crochet hook. I realized I can no longer, those small stitches hurt my hand. And it just, Amagur, Amagurumi is like crocheting a king size afghan for me. To me, they're like the same thing. I remember when I was selling a, uh, Hey, my handmade crochet. Somebody's like, could you make this little tiny amigurumi? I'll give you 10 bucks. It's small. No, this is going to take me forever to make. <laughs> Ooh. Mochilla, Mochilla bag and mosaic crochet. I never heard of that. That sounds pretty. Sherry sweater for her grandson. I'm going to do a little scroll down so we can get some more people in. Who haven't I seen? Amaris says... Uh, top down sweaters are on my list right now. I have, a, I had, I did make a top down sweater. My top down sweaters are not like, uh, who's, who makes beautiful top down sweaters? I can't remember her name. She has brown hair. She's probably in her early thirties. What is the crochet designer? But I can't remember, but she's like in her early thirties, but she looks like she's 15. I don't know, but she makes these beautiful crochet sweaters. My um, top down sweater was like an open granny square that you fold over like a minor or basic for beginners. Hmm. Crochet chick. She says she would make a crochet skirt. Mm, sounds pretty. Who's somebody I haven't pulled up? Janet. The Queen Mosaic Blanket by Tina Theodoretter. I know I said it wrong. I'm sorry if I said her name wrong. But that's though any type of those crochet mosaic. Any crochet mosaic designs, those are beautiful. Somebody asked me, like, could you come up with a beautiful mosaic design? An original? No. I can teach you how to do one that's been done for the past 500 years, but nothing original. That's, wow. Okay. Willow Crochet got herself a bucket list, a big, chunky, cozy cardigan. I'm about a quarter of the way through. You're on your bucket list, quarter way through making one, but I've been struggling to get more of the same yarn for about five months. Oh, check eBay. They might have some there or check Amazon. They have some of them like off sellers there too. Oh, oh. And I always say this like every 10 minutes because people don't stay for the whole live stream. If we're coming here just for the uh, patterns, that's fine. We're about to hop into those in two seconds. All the links for these free patterns, these purses are going to be down in the description box below. So don't worry, you're not going to miss anything. Sorry if I'm looking down here at my laptop, but my camera's up there is where to be looking at myself. Uh, so we're going to hop back into this pattern roundup. So I'm ready to ask you some more questions. Mm, let me take a drink. Mm, I forgot. Anybody who signs up for my uh, membership today, you'll see the nice little join button down below. You'll also receive a free copy of my uh, The Secret to Selling Crochet. If not, you don't have to uh, join a membership. You can also purchase that down below. Actually, if you feel like donating today, you can get the book also. And guys, you don't feel like you have to donate to get this book. Unfortunately, you might have to wait. I will like to give this away for free for everybody next week or the following week. But it's weird because I have my book on Amazon Kindle and I have to give them at least 24 hour notice before I make anything free. So next week or the week, the week after everybody, this will be available for free for just two days only. So it's not always going to be free just for two days next week. But if you would like to donate during this super chat during this video via super chat, you can get that here today. So I'm able to send that directly via email. Whew. OK, so the next uh, question is how. Oh, what fell? Oh, my disco light. Oh, fudge biscuits. Oh. We'll, we'll try to make the disco light work. Uh, 
So the question that I wanted to ask is, how old were you when you first began to crochet? And before you answer that question in the comments, make sure you put question marks right in front of it so I know to bring it up the front so we can I can see it. Oh, it is hot. I don't have like central air in my house, so it is burning up in here. We did that one. Where are we at? Oh, this is designed by Nine Inspired herself, Angela Adder, the person who writes this beautiful crochet roundup for us every single week. This is, did I share the share screen? I did. This is called the Rox, Roxy Retro Circle Bag. Let's throw in one more O to Granny, except let's think outside of the box this time. Circle bags are all the rage right now, so why not make a granny circle bag? Prepare to get creative with this funky and colorful crochet bag. Skip the craft store and dig into your scrap yarn instead. The designer of this is Nine Inspired. Remember, all these free patterns will be down below. I love making bags as a crochet designer, but I hate taking pictures of bags because I know, never know how to make it perfect. Let's see. Okay. So we can all see her beautiful face. Where is, that's her. She helps me put my blogs together every single week. The next one we are gonna be looking at is called the Chevron Summer Bag. If you need a crochet bag pattern with more room for all of your stuff, then look no further than a Chevron Summer Bag. The generously sized bag is fabulous in both monochrome and multicolor. It's especially loved, I especially love the bold texture of the bobble stitch rounds. This gorgeous crochet bag is a statement piece for sure. The designer of this is Girlies Crochet. I've seen another picture on this site with a more colorful bag. Let's see if she listed it. Oh, this is easy. This is my type of pattern. I like to the Netflix and crochet where you can just blindly crochet without counting too much. There it is. There is the uh, pattern with more colors on it. I think when you change the colors, it makes the stitches pop more on this than this one. All right. So back here. How old were you when you began to crochet? Before you comment, make sure you put question marks before. Okay, guys, I just want to let you know, I am burning up right now. I, I didn't buy any summer shirts. If you notice, I have like long sleeves pulled up. I didn't buy any summer shirts. Now that I'm working from home, I realize my closet and my wardrobe has gotten this small. And I'm like sitting in like the same t-shirt. I'm messy. I'm raggedy every day. I'm sitting like in the same t-shirts. And then Saturday comes along. I'm like... All I have is like nice winter stuff to wear. So I'm hot right now, just so you guys know. Woo. Hmm. Oh my goodness, I got a new member. I didn't realize it popped up in the chat. You're gonna get the bubbles. You're gonna get the bubbles and you're gonna get the lights. Thank you so much. Cheers to you. Oh, I appreciate that. And don't worry, Ashley, you, please email me at the end of this live stream or right now so I have your address. My email address is littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Don't worry if you click down in the description box. My email address is all the way down at the bottom in like the uh, how to reach me section. Little John Yarns, email me, say hello, so I'm able to send you your uh, free secret to selling crochet. Awesome. Thank you so much and cheers to you. You're going to have a blast as being a new channel member. I want to, does it tell if you're a yarnivore or a yarny? I can't tell what you are from here. I'll have to find out next time in a, behind the scenes. All right. So how old was I when I began to crochet? I was seven years old. I think it was the summer of going to like maybe first grade or out of kindergarten. I forget how old are you when you're seven, but it was the summertime and I was at my grandmother's house and all she did was crochet. And she's like, you know what? You want to learn how to crochet? Yes. I just remember because she had her lazy board chair and I would sit at her feet and she would try to show me how to chain. First, I learned how to uh, finger crochet by, you know, finger chaining. Then she taught me how to hold the crochet hook and I don't remember struggling at it. I wish she was here today to tell me 
how I did. But to me, I feel like I picked it up in no time. I remember making things in squares and granny squares and learning how to create circles. And it's a skill that's stayed with me ever since. So let me go. I'm going to start way down at the bottom because I feel like I haven't been answering anybody's from way down at the bottom. So I was around 10. YMCA camp had craft. That was almost 50 years ago. Wow. Cheers to you. 50 years. Well, if I know in your anniversaries, wouldn't that be like your golden crochet anniversary? Oh, I forgot to plug in my Ethernet. I wonder if my live stream is shaky. Hold on, guys. I'm usually more prepared. I'm like, oh, my Ethernet always makes for such a better stream. Because when you don't have your Ethernet in, it's like, eh, 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 eh. Okay. I think I made, okay, now it's all fixed. Okay. Oh, there's uh, JoJo. This is another YouTuber. She is like the Addy queen. She's made hundreds of uh, patterns on the Addy. But JoJo said, I was six years old uh, learning by my mom because I was sick all the time and found the time when I was bored without, when I wasn't able to go outside. And so that's when she learned. Oh, so you were six years old and you were sick. Oh, it's those funny moments you think like when you were sad at that time, but those moments taught you a skill and look at you now. You're like a big, huge YouTuber. Let's see. Tanisha was 39 years old. The Jude, nine years old, loved all my life. I've never stopped loving crochet ever. I've gave it breaks through the time. In my 20s, I must have been too cool. I still sporadically made my cool little hats, but that's about it. It was just for myself. But Gail says, my aunt took the challenge and I was 12. Ooh, let's see who's like the youngest crocheter in here. Amanda said she was six years old. Amy just wanted to know, how, are, how easy are baby booties? It depends on who you ask. Me, let's say 10 years ago, I hated making anything that involved pairs. Oh, I forgot to turn off my phone. I hated making anything that involved pairs because I would never make each one the same size. They were always opposite. But me now, booties are very simple. There's a lot of free patterns out there where you can do like the flat uh, panel type uh, booty where you make it in like, I should say this way, the flat panel where you make it just back and forth and like fold it together, they can be super easy and quick. But if you're something more intricate, I don't, I think they're easy. It's just making sure you complete a pair in the same day. If you wait days, your tension might be so different. Stanisha, I hope I pronounced your name right. 81 years old, cheers to you. Never too late to learn. I believe my grandmother, she wasn't old. She was young. Uh, my grandmother, I always thought this uh, skill that our family had was passed down through uh, generations and generations. It wasn't. My grandma was the first person on my side of the family to have this skill. She was a nurse back in the 1960s. And a woman that she was taking care of taught her how to crochet because my grandma was on shift in 1960 something. And that woman was sick in a hospital. I'm able to talk to you right now on YouTube. I find that amazing and strange. Here we go. Amaris, I was making crochet dress at 10. So nine and a half years old. I was a quick learner. I'm and still am very little stumps me. I, I think I'm a quick learner. A lot of things still stump me, but I like, I'm like, I'm going to fight through it. I'm going to figure it out. Like I get amazed by, like I said, the people who create stitches with like the mosaic designs, anything that has like an intricate stitch pattern. Oh, I thought was so hard. Then I want to say thanks to Hook by Robin. She does a lot of uh, stitch tutorials. I started doing, per advice, some stitch tutorials. 
it was the arcade stitch I came across. I did a couple months ago, but I realized all these cool intricate stitches are just other stitches used in opposite ways. I learned how to take an arcade stitch and turn it into like loopholes on patterns on saddle sandals and it's why well, I hope I'm explaining that correct. Okay, let me go on. This, enough about me. Let's see. <laughs> v says I was like eight years old, third grade. I think I asked this question a long time ago. Oh, yeah, I think I got one of our younger ones. Five, spring the Fiverr enthusiast, five years old. I think the youngest person, I should be looking up at the camera, I'm sorry. I think the youngest person who's ever, that I've seen comment on my live stream was four years old crochet. I would be so amazed to like see a four-year-old crochet. Knit and Crochet Tiger. Uh, crochet was 26. Next, knit was 41. I've dabbled in knit because I crocheted first. I just, it seems like it takes so long. It's like amigurumi. The stitches are so small. Nothing against it. I still think knit is so beautiful. And what you can do with those little stitches and drop stitches gorgeous. That's why I love my Addy Circular Knitter, so I can fake knit. I can crank something and just knit out a big sheet. You guys probably don't know what I'm talking about, the Addy Circular Knitter. I always end up talking about this for my live streams once upon a time. But this is like I call the Crocheter's Knitting Machine. If you, They just make, uh, what are they called? Stockinettes. They're nothing fancy. You're not going to make any type of grand stitch what you do you crank this out and panels come out i absolutely love it this is like the cadillac of all addy machines like i say if you want to see about addies go to uh jojo juju's uh youtube she makes patterns for these i used to make patterns for these but like i said i am more basic girl i can put some squares together and make a shirt i can put a headband a cow together she does some art with it. I went off on a tangent. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I'm starting to glow. Can you can you see the sweat on me? Oh, Lord. Oh, and for the guys who noticed that I got new glasses, thank you. I was doubtful to get these, but I, I went ahead. Oh, my girl, Lori. Hey, I've been so busy. It's been forever since making it to a live. You know what? You have not missed much, Lori. I was on a, I had a live last week, but before that I was on hiatus for like two months. I was enjoying my summer, relaxing. And guess, oh, before I go off on a tangent, Lori, I'm just updating you. And other, other people here, if I am talking too much and you just want to get to the patterns, all of the free patterns are down in the description box below. And we're going to hop back into more of the roundup in a second. But now we're just here to chit chat. But my daughter, she's leaving for college on the 20th. She's 20 years old. She's going to be entering her sophomore, junior, slash year, whatever that is. But she was home for the first two years. She went to community college. And now she's running away, going to college. There has not been a day. I think the longest I've been without her was for a week, maybe, and now I, I do have my husband still home. And I do have my 10 year old boy still home, but I don't have my girl. She's like the only person that gets me when the men are just thinking whatever. Now she's going to be gone. I'm going to be calling her every single day and she doesn't call me. I'm going to give her that mom guilt trip. Like I could have fallen and broken my hip and you didn't call me. I only say that because that's what my mom does to me. If I don't call her, we talk every day. Ugh. That's my update about me. Let's see. Oh, yay. Relic Goods, one of my fades. Bravo, Jada. Oh, she's, she's a young woman. I mean, I, I was a young woman when I had her. I was 20 when I had her. So it's like, I feel like we grew up together. She's probably more mature than I am. She's a great kid. I couldn't ask for a better person. So, okay, we've been talking too much. So now it's time to hop right back into this roundup. So the next question I'm going to ask for you. I don't know. 
Where are we at on this? Let me check my number count. Oh, I'm about to spill my wine. <gasps> Did somebody donate earlier and I forgot? No, somebody became a member. I, I, if I forgot, if somebody donated and I forgot. No, they didn't. I didn't spin the wheel. Somebody donated and I forgot who it was. All right. Somebody did donate. I believe they did. I'm going to scroll back. Wait, wait. No. Was it that? Sometimes I'm super forgetful. Scroll, 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 scroll. No, okay. I made the bubble go off and somebody joined. I almost thought I forgot to spin the wheel of patterns. I get so nervous. Okay. Back to the roundup. We are on number seven. Ain't that... Okay, the last question I'm going to ask you, what type of roundup would you guys like me to do for the next coming weeks? This is very helpful, especially for me, and especially for uh, Nine Inspired, a.k.a. Angela Adder, who creates these roundups so we can have these every single week. What do you guys want to see? Do you want to see? We just did bags. So somebody requested bags last week, so I'm like, and now we got bags this week. Let me know. Oh, and before you let me know, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I know to pull it to the front. All right, so let's hop right back into this pattern roundup. Hey, wait, I just wanted to say hi to Gloria, everybody. Make sure you check her out. She's an amazing crochet person. I'm late. I'm here. Hi, all. We see you. We love you. Thank you for showing up. Do, do, do. Okay, we're worried. I'm sorry, I went off on a tangent. I seen her uh, name, so I had to say hello. We did that one. Oh, I don't think we did this one. Make sure that I share my screen. I did. This is called the Peacock Tail Bag. Take a crash course in the overlay crochet technique and learn how to make this stunning crochet bag pattern. The Peacock Tail Bag is the perfect project for more experienced crocheters to really sink their teeth into. With the bold colors and eye-popping textures, this is sure to be one attractive bag. The designer of this is Lala, Lala Bajorn Crochet. This is, okay, I think this could be a bucket list. These are so, this is the a type of stitch I can't create on my own. Some people say, oh, just do a sampler stitch, Alicia. This is gorgeous. One, I cannot color coordinate. I hate counting and think if I have eight stitches here, I have to make sure. I never say I am the best crochet in the world. I like to make simple patterns that anybody can do. I am a more beginner to intermediate intermediate crochet teacher. I can do advanced patterns with a crochet pattern, but I can make one myself. The, <laughs> excuse me, I got a cough to my throat. This is gorgeous. And the lining of a bag. I love this. Ah, okay, next one. Oh, I should have put her on um one of my uh, favorite YouTubers. I like her tutorials, but there's something about Nostalgia's voice when it first come on. She has like a real slow welcome. This is, is I don't know how to, I don't know. It's weird. I like her, but her voice is very slow. I don't know. With t-shirt, this is called the uh, Casual Friday Handbag. With t-shirt yarn and a big old crochet hook, you can make this short work if this with this cute crochet bag pattern. This store-bought hardware and a quick button enclosure also help save time. This sheet purse is extra style, is extra easy to style thanks to the classic shape and neutral monochrome design design. It's hard to believe that you can make it with just single crochet and chain stitches. The designer of this is Nastasia. Ooh. I'm struggling. I gotta take a second break. I'm struggling over here. It is hot. It's like all the fans is being used in the houses. We just, we're not in a living room. This is my living room. Nobody no longer lounges in here. The living room has become my craft room. I don't have a big, huge, luxurious house. I'm a regular person. And the room that I have, I decided to take over. So everybody has air conditions in a room. I just, Maybe I'll get one on sale now after season is starting to be fall. But it's like burning up in here. But if I had it on, it would probably make so much noise I couldn't do a live stream. So I'm just struggling. <laughs> okay, we have one more pattern. I just had to take a break from reading. So if you see me stumbling over words, it's because, I don't know, maybe I'm having a heat stroke. That might be it. 
<laughs> All right, let's hop back in to the very last pattern. Where I'm going to get to those questions that I asked you. What type of patterns do you guys want to look at? Ooh, what is this one? This is called the fading, uh, the fading stripes bag. Good news. If you know how to single crochet, then you can make this. I love this crochet bags that are totally easy and beginner friendly. This beautiful bag boosts simplicity as well as style, especially with the fabulous faded look of the gradual color changes. Plus, drawstring bags are so versatile and practical. The designer of this is Yarn and Chi. This is, is that the yarn? Yeah, that's definitely the yarn that's doing that striping. See, I love self-striping yarn or variegated yarn. You guys know I'm color incompetent. I can't put two colors together. If you notice on any of my like pattern tutorials that it's yellow yarn, uh, red yarn, it's one color that pops that you'll see and hopefully click on, but you'll never see something with that's beautiful, like two color yarns mixed together. That is work. So what type of, we actually have one more pattern after this, but I'm going to go to the question that I asked you. What type of patterns or would you like to see during these roundups? Let's see. I also have another question. Would you like to see this in a shorter format? As in like, I know this is like a whole live stream. Would you like to see this in like a six minute video format? Let me know yes or no. So you can just like watch it on a quick, like, ooh, what are these great patterns? So you can go directly to the page. Well, I'll try that out and see how those goes on the views. Let's see, Toro. She says, Roundup, super quick Christmas gifts. I love the new glasses. It's giving me our work arrives. Thank you. <laughs> For me, I can't do makeup. I'm bad at makeup. My cousin's like, you're on YouTube. You should be able to like put some eyes on. I can't do. I haven't lately. I might paint on my eyebrows because they're getting kind of thin with age and being a teen in the 90s. I didn't have much eyes from plucking too much. And I might put some on my lips so I'm not like blah in a camera. The glasses for me are my makeup. That's what I use as makeup. Hmm. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Crafty Chef says, don't say you're color incompetent. Maybe go for color is not my language. Be nice to yourself. You're right. I like that. The color is not my language. Crafty Chat, I like that. I'm, I hope I'll always remember to give you credit for that because I know that's going to be one of my like favorite phrases. Color is not my language. I like that. Oh, back at you. Wait, she says, nope. I like the lives as they are. You got it. Oh, Jerry says, no, I like to listen to you. I'm still so amazed people like to sit here and listen to me chat. I don't even know what to talk about. When I first started these, you guys, if you've been here from the beginning, when I first started live streams, I was scared to do it for years. I'm like, I'm not going to do it. I don't like to talk in front of people. It literally makes me sick. But, you know, I want to challenge myself. I am so glad I did because every Saturday, once upon a time, I used to be nervous for weeks before my live streams. And then I would just became nervous just days before the live stream. Then it was just the day of the live stream. Now I'm not I'm still nervous that hour before the live stream. I still want to vomit That for me. That never goes away. People's like, how do you get over your nerves? I don't know. As soon for me, I'm not for everybody. For me, as soon as I go live, I'm super nervous. The first five to 10 minutes, you might notice me stumble on my words or I'm talking entirely too fast because my nerves are so worked up. But once I'm settled into it and I'm comfortable and you guys are comfortable with me, I'm able to talk and calm down. By uh, 44 minutes, I'm good. My live streams, I was amazed when I first started, used to go on for like two and a half to almost three hours. Don't worry, guys. I cut that stuff down. It's only about an hour. So we'll only be doing this for an extra 15 minutes. Let's see. Oh, pocket scarves. I wonder what's going to be the next new uh, pocket scarf. What's going to be the next viral thing? Pocket 
scarves. Yeah, those are still cool from last year. Of course, we're going to be run over. But what's going to be the next one? Uh, Sharon says, Afghan, fall and winter will be here. Yeah, I just put up my last crochet pattern of sandals. And that's going to be my last one. I'm looking out my window. And it's like, I think the leaves are starting to change already. <sighs> I feel like this ever since I put my Ethernet in, this is like worse. Okay, here we go. Scroll down. Oh, Ruth, I don't speak German. I believe that's German, but hello. I wish I could translate it. I'm not even able to like highlight it so I can put it in Google Translate. Can I? It won't let me. Ah. Can anybody translate for Ruth? If you can, I would appreciate it. Or put it in Google Translate so I can say hello to Ruth. That's another one. I had a lot of people from Germany. I'm not sure where you're from, Ruth. But say hello to me. Let's see. Caramel cutie pie. Easy clothes like skirts and maybe pants. Actually, pants are on my bucket list. I've never made a pair of pants. Totally agree. Fall is coming faster than normal. There we go. All right. So we have one more uh, pattern to look at. Don't worry. We're still going to chat for a little bit. My next question, actually, is for you. Let me pull this off. It's for you to ask me. You can ask me any question that you like about my life, about uh, crochet, about crochet business. Ask now, what's my favorite color? What's the thing I hate the most? Ask now, just make sure you put question marks in front of it so I'll be able to bring it to the front. Oh, Ruth says uh, she can't speak English, but she likes you. There we go. Let's go back to Ruth. Ruth, thank you so much. You get the bubbles and you get the lights. Cheers to you. Everybody should feel special. Okay, so you can ask me any question. And actually, who translated that? I want to give something for the person who translated that. Where did you go? For you, Trent, thank you so much. I want you to spin the wheel of patterns to say thank you. So I'm going to pull you up. Wait, did we get you? Yes. So I'm going to send it a spin, see what pattern that you will win. You win my jewels slippers. Let me show you what those look like. The jewel slippers are right here. In order to receive these slippers, all you have to do is email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com because I can't find you. My email is down below. You have to scroll down in the description. It's in the uh, my show social links or how to reach me. It's down below, littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Thank you so much. So ask me any questions. Let's look at the very last bag. These are so cute. All right, this is called the Fruit Bag Trio. Tap <clears throat> excuse me. Tapestry crochet is my favorite crochet technique for working with colors. The image is built up one stitch at a time, just like your computer uses pixels to make up the image you see on your screen. Even beginner crocheters can make this fabulous crochet bag because it's all just single crochet stitches. The designer of this is uh, Shave Patterns. Like I said, all these patterns will be down in the description box below for free. This is adorable. Is this the size of big bag? I would like this as like a tiny makeup bag. No, I would never put makeup in this. It is too pretty. Uh, I, sh I don't know. How big is this? I need to see it next to somebody's hand. How big is this? It's super cute. I don't know. What is the size? I don't know. I guess that will be for you guys to look for later. But this is super cute. Oh, it's hot, so hot. 
<laughs> I should get one of my kids to come in here and like fan me. All right. So you guys can ask me any question right now, what's going on, or you can like brag about whatever you're creating right now. What are you making? What's on your hook? Just make sure you put question marks in front of it. And so I can bring it in the, to the front so we can all talk and discuss about it. Whew, it is hot. Give me a second, guys. Oh, forgive me. All right. Now I'm going to go into the comments. What's your favorite thing to crochet? I go through spells. I feel right now I'm on feet. I love slippers. I, I'm probably going to be making slippers to the end of the year. I just love them. They're quick. Before, my favorite were hats. And I, I when somebody would ask me that question, I would always say, my favorite thing to crochet is hats. Then I realized I haven't made a hat in months. And I've probably made at least 10 pair of slipper patterns in the past couple months. Actually, I made five patterns. No, five videos. Four videos. Four videos in the past week about feet or sandals or something. Yeah. So that's my favorite right now. Peru. Ola Joe or Ola Joe. I hope I said your name right. The Crocheting Sailor. Translation. Oh, good afternoon from Peru. We got more translators. Thank you, guys. There we go. Ola, you wasn't too slow translating. Thank you. There we go. We got one from Mary. There's a lot of help out there. Go to art, um, go to art supplies and get a good color wheel. It will show you how to match colors. Hit the colored uh, pencil supplies. I do. I'm horrible at matching colors. I do. There's. Ooh, I hope I don't hit my plugs over. I have this crochet gadget. You guys know I love my crochet gadget reviews. One of my favorite crochet gadgets helps you match colors. Where is it? I know I'm just going to make a mess looking for it, but all it is is a kaleidoscope, not a kaleidoscope. A kaleidoscope already has little color pieces on a, I should turn this way, already has little color pieces on the back of the panel. Uh, kaleidoscope, it changes the colors that are in front of you. So you're able to put three light skeins together and peek through this little device and it makes up this faux crochet pattern. Ah, I wish I had it on me. It's here. This is where I keep all my gadgets. The video is somewhere on YouTube. Look for me crochet gadget review. I'm going to do another review on those. It was just so awesome. Do do do. You guys have any questions? <gasps> Crafty Chat says, I am a piano teacher. How's Jada Piano Diploma going? Right now, uh, like I said, she, she graduated from high school two years ago, and that's when she quit, finished all her lessons. So for two years, she's just been untrained, not untrained. She's so talented. She's just, she hasn't been playing for anybody for the community college or anything. But even though she's been gone from piano for two years, she managed to still get a college scholarship, do music to this other college. So proud of her. So she starts there on 20th. So we'll see. And she decided to join the band also. So that's awesome. So she was a bandy girl back in high school also. So she now is continuing on in college. My big girl. She, I don't want to brag, but I don't get to talk to piano with anybody. And Crafty Chats, you're a teacher. I'm so proud of my daughter. She's so talented. I've never been able to play piano myself. And I'm so grateful that she's able to. And to see her, she's been playing since she was seven. She's amazing. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm done about that. Dude, am I missing anybody's? Go down, new comments. <gasps> Rella Goods, you know what the kaleidoscope is. Do we need to go on a field trip? Okay, guys, we're going to find this. Still, um, while we're on this field trip, you can still ask me any questions in the comment. If I missed yours from earlier, 
I'm sorry, I didn't see it. You can ask again, just make sure you put question marks. So we're gonna go on a field trip and find this kaleidoscope. There we go. We're just gonna go over to YouTube. Uh, we'll go crochet gadget review. Little John's yarn. Let's see if I can find which review it is. It's not that one. I've done a lot of reviews. Not that one. Here it is. Okay. Oh, I look so spry. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Thanks for being patient on this uh, field trip that we're on. I swear it was this one. Where is it? It's somewhere. See, it's this right here. It's this machine. And I'll show you what it looks like in the video. Okay, let me unmute myself. These gadgets. So I want you to stay tuned all the way to the end of the video. Oh, so and cheesy. Just a little further down. It's pretty hard to see right here. Like the boy. Okay. Oh, it's too big. It this is before I got my good video. Test that out first. See how that cuts. Is it at the end? There it is. It's at the end. All right. So I'm going to take this down. Three to four okay. colors. I Check just this out. Any random colors. And you place them all next to each other. So this they pretty is much the color scoop. There we go. Well, let me take this uh, <coughs> purple one out. We're going to do these three colors. All right, so now I'm going to try to place this in my camera. Can you guys see that? Look at look that. At that, you can see what your pattern will ooh, looked up, look like worked up before you even start. Excuse the white in the background. Since I can't angle this perfectly, you're getting some of the poster board. You can see but the pattern. Do it, all I can see is act. Those are for uh, the people. I don't speak the color blank. What did you tell me it was? Uh, the It's not my language. Color is not my language. <laughs> the You just put the three colors together and it makes like a bow pattern. And you can see what it looks like before it's all done. That's amazing. I don't know how many times I'm like, these two colors will go together and they don't. Uh, I should bring my mother on here one day. She was so mad at me as a child. I could not match my clothes if my life depended on it. And you no, know, it was horrible because it was back in the 80s. And there are so many grand opportunities to mismatch in so many ways. There's so many polka dots and florals and stripes and neons just to kill your whole style. And I could put it all in just one outfit. And my mom was just so, she's like, why don't you try? I'm like, I did. So now as an adult, I cope by wearing one color at a time or black, beige, burgundy, brown. Yep, that's it. That's all. I, I still can't. <laughs> Who to do? You remember that review? I think I might pull that out and just do a singular review on that. I love that thing so much. It's perfect for the people who don't speak the color, the language of color. Thank you. I got it now. Cause your skill, Gloria, you have talent. I, she says she loves putting colors together. I get so amazed when people can do that. Usually if I say, I'll tell my daughter, I'm like, I have this new pattern coming out and I need some colors to pop. And she'll go to my shelf and she'll be like, boop, boop, boop. she'll put some colors together and say, here, mom, this works. There was a pattern that I did. I, she picked out these two colors. I thought they were the most ugly colors together. It was even two texture, two different textures yarn. It was a pink Caron Simply Soft with a burgundy red heart, I believe. And I thought it was so ugly together. And then I made the hat and it was gorgeous. She just has that eye that I don't have. She must have got that from her father, not me. Relic Goods. I like to play with the color scope outside. It makes nature so pretty. 
actually, you guys, the uh, it's called the color scope, but it's just a telescope. You can get them anywhere. You can probably get them at like kids stores. They're just perfect. You can't there. I had a big, huge one. I got rid of. I wish I had it next. I know it's somewhere. I need to be more organized. That's my goal. Next is to be more organized. All right, let's see. Do, do, do. Like I said, you guys have any questions for me? You like making socks. Are you a knitter? I thought I tried crocheting some socks, but I wasn't sure they look like socks. And I'm like, are they are more slippers than socks. I made them in single crochet. It was a pattern that I created, but I wasn't sure if I should publish it or not. So it's just it's just sitting in my Google Docs. Like, should I publish this? What do you guys think of crochet socks? Because, you know, it'll be much stiffer. It's not super stiff, but it's much stiffer than a uh, knit sock. But I guess I did use a worsted weight yarn. Maybe I would have crocheted it with a sock yarn. Hmm. Any sock? Are you a sock crocheter? Let me know, please. What inspired you to start an Etsy shop? Uh, what was it back in 2015 before I even ventured online where I was just, hmm, maybe I should. I was crocheting, probably just, you guys probably had the same exact story. I was crocheting, I was at work, and somebody said, you should sell that. And then I went on Etsy, and I'm seeing people selling a crochet hat for like a billion dollars. I'm like, I can make that and sell it for a billion dollars. I'm going to be rich. This is for I learned that your needle in a haystack on Etsy is hard to be found. Before I did my research on how to be found, I started because somebody said, hey, why don't you sell your stuff? But I just ventured so much deeper into it. I sold more of my handmade items on Facebook, on social media, like it's I sold more there than I ever did on Etsy. Right now, Etsy sells patterns for me. I don't sell any physical merchandise outside of uh, uh, T-shirts with funny sayings. Etsy for me is all digital downloads. Because I don't know, they get annoying with how much fees they take. But I use them because other shoppers trust them so much. I would love for shoppers just to come to my website and buy from my website so I don't have to pay fees, but Etsy's just so trusted. I still just sell on there. So I've been doing that since 2015. Do, do, do. Any other questions? Oh, <laughs> that's a question. Virgie says, is Etsy worth it with their fees? Etsy's worth it because it gives you tools. Well, actually, it's 2021. You can have all your tools yourself. You can do this on social media and find people. You're more likely to sell within social media than you are on Etsy. Even with SEO, uh, SEO keywords used on Etsy, it's still so hard to rank. I think Etsy has like a cool kids club. I, I'm not sure I'm not like a analytic queen, but I feel like they promote bigger shops more. I know, I mean, I was a small shop, but maybe I, YouTube helped me become a bigger shop. So I was getting traffic to my Etsy shop. So maybe that signaled something in Etsy. So now I've become a bigger shop on Etsy. When I go into my E-Rank, if you guys need help with um, SEO, on Etsy specifically, I use E-Rank. It says every time I log on, I sell more than 98% of the people on Etsy, which is sad because I'm, I always tell you exactly how much I make. I have nothing to hide. Right now on Etsy, I'm only making 600 for a 30 day period, $677 a month on Etsy. If I'm making more sales, well, I guess I should be the, it, maybe it's the cash because my patterns are cheap. I'll go by uh, orders. I've made 118 orders to 150 orders a month. 
if that is the top 98 on Etsy, that's sad to me. So I always find more success when I'm selling physical items outside of Etsy. I hope that makes sense. But there are some gurus that can tell you different. Maybe Etsy was not my for physical. Search those gurus. I don't know it exactly, but if you want to know about patterns, I can help you. Do, do, do. Oh, Ruth gave me a thumbs up and thank you. Oh, oh, Ola Joe. Hope I said that right. Have a wonderful day, Alicia and chat. Have a glorious day. Virtual hug. Leah says shorter videos are better. Maybe I can do a mix. We can still have our social talks. Don't get me wrong but a nice little something else on the side or this exact same video. Hello, my dear, my daughter's over there. I was talking about you. Oh. Everybody says they're so proud of you. You're going to college, you're growing up. Crafty Chat, she's a piano teacher. She wanted to know how you're doing. Yeah. yeah, my daughter says she's doing good, but I can do both. So if you don't feel like watching this whole live stream, you can go watch a five minute video of this. Let's see. They do. Etsy has too many manufactured items to compete with. I do see a lot of stuff that you see on AliExpress, like the pre-made items. You know what I mean? I'm like, you didn't make this. I know this is handmade by somebody who's not getting paid enough, but it's not handmade by you. And now you're selling on the site as handmade. Yeah. So I love doing my digital items with my digital items. I don't have to worry about shipping or anything being late. It's pretty much set it and forget it. I upload my pattern. I make sure all the descriptions set it and forget it. And it, money comes in. Would you ever consider doing a paid Zoom chat? Might be good revenue source. That's fun too. Actually, uh, my one of my girls, uh, Karen V. Miguel, she always recommends this called uh, coaching. Coaching somebody on how to exactly make money in the crochet industry. She tells me I don't give myself enough credit. I feel like I don't have, I do have good information, but what if I overwhelm you? What if I this? So I did put it all in a book. She just, I don't know. She tells me I don't give myself credit. I'm scared. I just won't be able to give you enough in that short amount of time, or I need to give you more, or I'll overwhelm you. There's a lot, but there's a way. Guys, if you, right now is, as I said, is the best chance to ask. I usually don't go longer than an hour on my live chat, but I'm feeling pretty chatty now. I made it halfway through my wine, so I guess I'm feeling fine. So if you want to know how to make money as a crocheter, Ask right now any specific questions. If you already asked some and I missed your question, ask again. Okay, would you ever? Okay, I did that. I, I might. I don't know. I, I It's my own personal insecurities. But if you have some questions for me right now, I've been drinking wine. I'll tell you all about it. Like I said, guys, I tell you, you can go to my um, website, littlejohnsyarn.com. Click in the drop down menu and look in under entrepreneurship or monthly income. You can see exactly how much I make as a crocheter full time. If you see it, you're probably going to think, wow, she makes so much money. Listen, I have to pay my own health insurance. I have to pay for my 20 year old daughter's health insurance and car insurance. I still have my own mortgage and taxes. I have to pay quarterly. So, 45, what I make, they take them 45% of that in taxes gone. So just so you know that, but I still make enough to not work a day job. I will sweat at crochet any day <laughs> before going back to my day job. Whew, cheers to that. Mm. Let's see, did I miss anybody? I am feeling really chatty today. You give great info. Thank you so much. You can microwave my child. Ooh, any Meet the Makers coming up. 
who should I have on my list for Meet the Makers? I'm always so nervous when I ask like other makers to be on my channel. I'm like a little kid. I'm like, hi, my name is Little John Yarns. Would you like to be on my channel, please? And I'm always so nervous. But you guys give me the, what's the word, courage to reach out to them. I'm like, my followers would love to see you. So who would you like to see on my Meet the Maker series? I don't know who would be the next person. Who's when I, I asked her uh, last year, Jaden Stitches. She wasn't able to be on my Meet the Maker, but she did do a YouTube video collab. She did a crochet gadget review with me. So that was awesome. Just to hear her like giggle in my video and her bing, 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 bing that little song she does. I wish I was smart enough to have like a theme song. Ugh. Oh, people. She said, I love your videos. Thank you so much. Hey, Angela, it's okay to be late. Luckily, I usually get off around after being on for an hour on online, but I'm feeling very chatty. It's halfway through my glass, I suppose. So if you guys have any questions for me, make sure you ask right now. Let it be about life, business. If you want to brag about what you're making, what's going on, put question marks in front of it. Do -do. So I know to bring it up to the front. And also, if you would like to become a member of my new membership channel is down below. You'll see a little join button. There's two levels. It is the Yarnies and the Yarnivores. I can't remember all the bonuses that you'll get, but if you click, you can see all the extra cool bonuses. But my Yarnivores, we just had a yarn giveaway where I gave away $60 worth of yarn. And the chances of winning was one in five. Because luckily, there's only five people in my yarn of war group. So every time I give a giveaway, as long as you're the beginning, you're my core group. You you got the highest ratio of winning. And my first person that won hasn't claimed yet. What is your name? Oh, I have to find her. I think it's Courtney. If you're in a live, you won yarn. You need to email me because I can't find you on YouTube. Okay, here we go. Good question. That is Sar Sparkles. How do you learn to write patterns? When I first started on YouTube, I did not write a pattern, I think, for the first year on YouTube. I always knew how to just create, just crochet, and that was it. So that's what I did. Actually, that's what Bag a Day does. Bag a Day has been YouTube and crocheting for like almost a decade. And she still cannot write a pattern. But myself, I wanted another form of income. I learned by just creating patterns. Does that make sense? Uh, let's say you are you already know how to make. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I have a new member. Thank you so much. And cheers to you. Mm hmm I appreciate. So you make sure you email me, littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. You will receive my book, The Secret to Selling Crochet. Exactly all the steps that I've done to make money and quit my job and become a full-time crocheter. It's actually possible. Thank you so much. And you'll, as being a member, you get a lot of other free stuff too. So once you get in there, you'll see and we'll chat. We'll get to know each other. Here we go. What am I missing? Oh, we talked about how to write patterns. The best way to write patterns. Let's say you already know how to make a granny square. Google a free pattern. How do you, how can I pull this thingy down? Google a pattern, granny square pattern. And you follow along. Actually, my videos, I don't wanna toot toot my own horn. It are great videos to follow along to if you want to learn how to write and read a pattern. Find one of my simple patterns on YouTube and all my uh, patterns ourselves have a free version on my website. So you can look at my website and watch my video and hear my words. Crochet in the next two stitches is spelled, well, single crochet in the next two stitches is written SC next to STS. You have to see it as you go. It's not that hard. You just have to do it. Makes sense? My mom used to tell me this about push-ups. Actually, 
tried to enter. Uh, I was going to be a state police. I go off on tangents. My mother was a Pennsylvania state police and I always looked up to my mother. So when I grew up, I'm like, I'm going to grow up and be a state police just like my mom. But you had to get through those physical tests and I had to do pushups. I'm like, mom, how do I learn how to do pushups? You got to do pushups to know how to do pushups. I'm like, okay. It's almost the same thing about writing patterns. You got to listen, see it, and read it to know how to do it. Ooh, Dita Designer says, I've been making vests for the summer just as a cover-up. That's smart. I have a vest pattern just sitting around. Stephanie, uh, Sieta from Sieta's Place and Preston and Miss Nikki from Yarn as a second language would be good ones. Hmm. New ones. Here we go. Sara Sparkles, I just learned to read patterns a little. That's all it takes. What gets confusing about patterns is when you get into the repeats. Every designer kind of writes theirs different. Some people use those little asterisks or the parentheses or those can get a little confusing. You almost have to break it down, eat by comma, by comma. Read each section from beginning to comma and just work that. Then read each section from um, beginning to comma, then work that. I hope that makes sense. Did I miss silver wings? I, I got silver wings, didn't I? Yeah, I got silver wings. Yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Why is my screen being weird? I'm sorry, guys. Here we go. Crafty Chat says, I feel like I'm only talking to you. I'm sorry if I keep bringing you up. I'm sorry. Kim from Affordably Craft. Uh, Kim from Affordably Crafty would be a great guest. I have to look her up. I'm not, when I say I have to look them up, I'm not being bougie. I'm not being like, like I'm just too. Sometimes I know like the big ones of like, you were big before I started getting like funnel vision of crochet. I know who you are. If you can't became big after, it's not because I'm like, oh, I don't know who you are. I just got funnel vision. I don't really watch other crochet YouTubers too much. I'm always thinking, what's going to be the next video? What's going to be the next pattern? You know, but silver wings. I'm sorry. I just left you there hanging. Hi, D. Nice to meet you. You know what? Hi, silver wings. Nice to meet you. Do, do, do. Charts are great. I do like charts. When I first seen charts, I thought they were the most craziest thing in the whole entire world. Like, but actually visually seeing it is so much easier. Oh, I would I wish I had like the technology to have to be able to make charts. I think there is, are ways to make charts, but I don't want to pay for the software. Your girl gets cheap. Do you all, thank you, Crafty Chat. She enjoys our chats. Here we go. Did I miss anybody's questions for me? And if I've missed your question and I didn't bring it up, please type it again. Don't, I missed it. I'm sorry. I missed it in the scroll. Do, do, do. I think I got everybody. All right, guys. So. Let me check one more time below. All right, guys. Well, let me say hi to Lisa. I pulled you up. That's rude. She said, I'm dreadful, dreadful at putting colors in granny squares. I, I kind of am too. I don't even bother with it. Like I said, I have to go to somebody else to get my colors together. Hmm. Oh, Knit and Crochet Tiger. At Little John Yarns, there are free software programs to make charts and uh, write patterns. What? I've used the, I hate it. What was it? Stitch Fiddle? I think I want to punch that device in the face. There's another one. I forget the name of it. But I am know maybe it's been a while. I haven't looked in years. I'll give it a try because I think charts, I want to give everybody the option to be able to follow my, my patterns come with, a free video. 
It becomes a free written pattern. At the end of each pattern, there's a timestamp that goes to the video so you know exactly where it is. I think the chart would be the trifecta of somebody saying, I know this. I don't know how many people come to me saying, Alicia, this pattern, I don't understand. It's so hard. I'm like, I wrote it for you and I gave you a video and I gave you a timestamp. Maybe if I give you a chart, you won't get stuck. So that's about it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I really enjoyed this live stream, but it's getting hot and your girl got to get offline. Whew. All right, guys, I will see you next week. Don't worry, at 2 p.m., same place, same time. And I don't know what the topic will be, but of course, it'll be 10 fabulous crochet patterns. All right, guys, bye.